Does multitasking boost brain power? Have you ever caught yourself bouncing between tasks? Like responding to emails, texting, and trying to finish a report. All at once, it might feel like you're getting more done like you're a productivity powerhouse. But have you ever paused to consider what all this multitasking is doing to your brain? Does it actually make you smarter and more efficient? Or could it be sabotaging your mental capabilities? Let's dig deeper into the science behind multitasking and its true impact on our brains. Is it really the key to boosting brain power? Or is it just a myth that's slowly draining your cognitive resources? What is multitasking, really? The concept of multitasking has roots in computer science. It originally referred to a computer's ability to handle more than one task simultaneously. Computers do this by rapidly switching between tasks, giving the illusion that they're handling multiple operations at once. When it comes to humans, though, the reality is a bit different. Our brains aren't designed like computers. When we say we're multitasking, we're actually engaging in what's known as task switching. Rather than processing multiple tasks at the same time, our brain quickly shifts its focus from one task to another. This might feel like multitasking, but it's more like a rapid toggle between different activities. The cost of task switching. While it might seem efficient, task switching comes at a cognitive cost. Each time we switch from one task to another, our brain has to reorient itself. This process, often referred to as the switch cost, involves additional cognitive effort and time. Studies have shown that it can take several minutes to regain full focus on a task after being distracted by another one. This constant shifting not only slows us down but can also lead to more mistakes. Imagine trying to have a conversation while reading a book. You might catch a word here or there, but you're likely to miss the nuances of both activities. Similarly, when your brain is forced to switch between tasks, it's less likely to process information deeply, leading to superficial understanding and more frequent errors. Does multitasking really make you smarter? One might argue that engaging in multiple tasks simultaneously could potentially sharpen the brain by forcing it to operate at a higher level. However, research suggests the opposite. Chronic multitaskers, those who frequently switch between tasks, actually perform worse on tests of cognitive ability compared to those who focus on one task at a time. For example, a study conducted at Stanford University found that people who regularly multitask have less brain density in the anterior cingulate cortex, a region involved in empathy, decision-making, and emotional control. This means that not only does multitasking make us less efficient, but it may also negatively impact our brain's structure and function over time. The illusion of efficiency. Why, then, do so many of us continue to multitask? It often feels like we're accomplishing more, especially in a world where speed and productivity are highly valued. The truth is that while multitasking might give us a temporary sense of efficiency, it actually reduces our overall productivity. When our attention is divided, we're more likely to miss important details and make careless errors. The time we think we're saving by multitasking is often lost when we have to go back and fix mistakes or redo work. Moreover, the mental fatigue that results from constant task switching can reduce our ability to think creatively and solve problems effectively. When multitasking can be useful. This isn't to say that multitasking is always harmful. There are certain scenarios where multitasking can be effective, particularly when the tasks are simple and routine. For instance, listening to a podcast while doing household chores doesn't require the same level of cognitive engagement as, say, writing a report or solving a complex problem. However, when it comes to tasks that demand deep thinking, creativity, or significant mental effort, it's usually better to focus on one thing at a time. This allows your brain to fully engage with the task, leading to better outcomes and a more thorough understanding of the material. In conclusion, multitasking doesn't boost brain power. In fact, it often has the opposite effect. Our brains are wired to focus on one thing at a time, and when we try to override this natural tendency, we pay the price in reduced efficiency, increased errors, and even potential changes in brain structure. So the next time you're tempted to juggle 10 things at once, remember that sometimes, less really is more. Giving your brain the space to focus on a single task can lead to sharper thinking, greater creativity, and ultimately, better results. If you found this exploration into the world of multitasking insightful, share it with others who might benefit from a deeper understanding of how our brains work. What's your experience with multitasking? Do you find it helpful or harmful?